Hi, this is Frederick James and you're watching the Cinema LK Talk Show. Rapid Fire with Frederick, uh, what irritates you the most? Oh, irritates me the most. Uh, loud noises, loud traffic, um, people being uh, impatient. Frederick's biggest fear? Ooh, snakes. I hate snakes. What is your favourite clothing brand? Um... Wow, I don't know. I think I think maybe uh, I'm a big fan of, of like uh, some of the more chic brands like Burberry and stuff like that. But at the same time, I like Zara. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Zara. Zara works well for me. <laughs> Name one thing you like in Hollywood and one thing you hate. Um, I love the the positive attitude. I think that's something that's really. Uh, lacking in the rest of the world, where like there's always a can-do attitude of things. Um, sometimes the can-do attitude is backed by money, but at the same time, it's there's a there's a there's nothing that you can't do, and that's that's true. If anybody want, has the passion to do something, you can do it. Um, one thing irritating is I'm not going to say traffic. Um, one thing irritating is uh, the can-do attitude when it comes to like. Uh, they're not experienced in something and they'll say that they are and yet they still, you know, they think that they can just look up at YouTube and and learn out how to sing in the, you know, in the next hour as opposed to actually knowing how to sing or whatever it may be. Yeah, yeah. If you could sneak into someone's life, who would it be? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Who would I sneak in? Whose life would I sneak into? Um, oh, wow. Uh, in Sri Lanka or, no, or anywhere? Where are anywhere. Um, Oh, wow, that's a really good question. Um, sneak into their life as in, hey, what's up, Tony Stark? Or is it like, as it, or is it like, hey, uh, get the new Iron Man suit for me because I'm, I'm ready for it now? Sneak. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, yeah, I, man, it would be amazing to be Tony Tony Stark, wouldn't it? If you're talking about fictional characters, and it would be just as amazing to be Robert Downey Jr., wouldn't it? It would be amazing. What is the first thing that you notice in a woman? When you see a woman, what is the first thing? The first thing is, yeah, it is the eyes, always. Oh. Yeah, first thing I notice is the eyes. If, okay, um, um, if you face these following situations, what would be your reaction? If you get a chance to act in a movie with Angelina Jolie? Man, I'd be thinking, which, which marriage am I going to break up now? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, she's a great actress, she really is. I think unfortunately for her, she's too beautiful. And that's such a weird thing to say, but it is, it's true. Okay. If Lady Gaga proposes to you on one day? Proposes to me? Yeah. I'd probably accept. I think she's an amazing, she's an amazing, not just amazing performer or amazing uh, actress now, um, with a huge spirit, but she actually stands by her beliefs. I think that's really important, you know. Okay. Uh, if you get a chance to play a role in G.O.D. Oh wow, I think it's over. I've got three more episodes before I can... <laughs> um, wow, if I... what would I do? Man, I'd be, I'd be doing cartwheels. Even if I was like the... Um, I think I'd be happy as just to be on that set. That's an amazing, amazing phenomenon. Okay. Who was your first celebrity crush? Oh, who was my first celebrity crush? Uh, dang it, this doesn't come to mind at all. Who was my celebrity crush? I know who my current celebrity crush is, but it's, wow, I don't know. Um, maybe the girl from um, Back to the Future. Yeah, the original Back to the Future. She was cute as, yeah. <laughs> okay. What is the latest movie that made you emotionally cry? Emotional or cry? Uh, the latest Film. Oh, 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 oh. Damn it! I hope you edit this out because I'm going blank. What's the latest film that I saw that made me emotionally cry? Um, I haven't seen Endgame yet, and I'm really expecting big tears on that one. Um, but wow, I cried almost every film if it's good. Really, honestly, I do. If there's a good, so if, by that, by that. Logic, what film did I watch last then? <laughs> um, um, I think I would have watched... 
Holy crap, I can't, I can't even think. What's a good film that's just come out recently? Oh. Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh. Um, it's not that recent, but I cried like a baby for that, man. Oh, wow. That was just heartbreak. And then, I don't know if everybody cries at the points that I cry, but the, point, the, the part where he goes back to his family and says like, hey, this is my friend. And, oh, dude. Yeah, powerful stuff. Powerful okay. Stuff. If you get a chance to change one thing in Sri Lanka, what it would be? Um, our our can-do approach, I think, like I said before, like with Hollywood, I would say that um, our attitude to just doing stuff that might suck, but will get better, you know what I mean? Like having the attitude to be able to do it. I think we're blessed with a lot of things here. Um, unfortunately, um, if things aren't amazing the first time, we kind of give up. That's not the attitude to have. Okay. Uh, say three things that no one knows about your father. <laughs> okay. He, uh, wow. He's a night owl. Definitely. Even more than I am and I, I go to bed at like three o'clock sometimes. Um, still working and he, the light is still on in the office when he's, when he's, when he's working. Um, um, Creatively, we don't always see eye to eye. <laughs> um, he, uh, he's, an, he's an amazing creative, he really is. Um, but I think the generational gap between us allows for a lot of friction <laughs> sometimes. But at the same time, we do end up um, making ourselves better for it because we do really sort of appreciate each other's opinions when it comes to things like that. But yeah, we do have, we, have, we generally, at the drop of a hat, it would be like Russia and America every time. <laughs> it's like, so yeah. yeah. Um, wait, third, you want the third thing? Uh, hmm. Um, <laughs> wow. Uh, he doesn't, he never even warms up before a performance. Oh. He doesn't, he doesn't believe in it. As, he, he's, he believes in, in the natural voice and I can, I can already hear a lot of singers going, huh, what? Um, but yeah, he does. I don't, <laughs> but he does. <laughs> okay, um, true or false? Frederick is an absent-minded person in his day-to-day -day life. Yeah, absolutely true, absolutely true. Like, I, absolutely true. I, I will like, um, I will be running around doing things for, for like a, a, a project that I have and then I'll literally, and this is an embarrassing thing to admit, but I will literally sometimes notice, no I'm not going to say that, that's going to be terrible. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I, I will, uh, now I'm thinking of something that's not as bad, oh no, it's not going to happen. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm completely disheveled when it comes to organization in my general life. Like when it comes, if I didn't have um, a, uh, a great support team, <laughs> I would be absolutely useless. They say that the most creative people are, uh, are very messy. If, that, if that's true, then I have a spot on that panel because, because I'm extremely messy. Only by that though <laughs> would I be put on that team. But yeah, I, I, I can't organize my stuff in any way or form. Like I've, everything is everywhere all the time. Okay. Uh, Frederick is a very tricky and choosy character. Yeah, yeah, I am. When it comes to, especially when it comes to relationships and stuff like that, um, I, I'm extremely picky like when it comes to um, with friends and then even with romance as well like it's, it's um, you won't see me sort of um, uh, you won't see me with somebody that uh, that doesn't really res have the same attitudes that I have you know? um, you can be friend someone if it lets you. I think so. I think I think I I I love to see. Um, this might contradict what I just said, but I love to I love the differences in people more than the similarities. You know what I mean? I think people like to uh, 
like to find things that are the same and find the same tribe, same, the same people. I like to see how people are different and then sort of go, wow, that's really interesting. How do you see that? Why do you see that? Um, I think if we all had that attitude, it would be really cool. We'd all get along with everyone a lot easier. Frederick is an arrogant person. Uh, I think I am. I honestly do think I am arrogant. But constantly I'm being checked by my friends that, and they say, and they say, what are you talking about, dude? Just get your, get your act, you're not, no, just do what you need to do and, and move on. You're not, you're not an arrogant person. I, I, I kind of feel like I am because I, I accept nothing but the best for myself and I therefore try to expect that from everybody else and I know that's not gonna happen, so, but yeah. Is the screenplay more important than the director? Yeah. <laughs> Did short question, short answer, yes. <laughs> Frederick is a good actor than a singer. Ooh. I've been told otherwise. I've been told otherwise. So I I don't know how to answer that properly. I I know I get damn it. I, I get a lot more joy out of singing than acting. And I get a lot of joy out of acting. So I don't know, read what you want. Okay. <laughs> Hot or not? Street food. Oh, street food's amazing. Especially in Sri Lanka, like the shawarma and stuff here is to Hot. die for. Yeah, it's amazing. Oh, yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. Bathroom singing. Bathroom singing? Yes. Yes, yes absolutely. Um, flirting with a married woman. Guilty. <laughs> yes. Ice cream. Love it. Too much. Uh, skydiving. Love it. Don't like the idea of somebody strapped to my back, though. I've done that a few times and it's. I feel like a monkey's on my back. I'm like, go this way. And they're like, no, we're going this way. Yeah, no, I need to do it properly. Okay, yeah, smoking. Um, I used to smoke half a pack a day when I was in drama school. And um, because someone challenged me to not, I just stopped. But, but I, I have got no problems with people smoking, honestly, as long as they don't do it in my face, that's all. Wine. Wine, uh, red. Red and... Yeah. Okay. After oh. work. Chocolate. Dark. <laughs> Fast driving. Oh, I don't drive enough here. I wish I did. I love driving. I love driving fast. I love riding. I love riding fast. Okay. Choose one out of two. Los Angeles or Colombo? Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> I, I love Colombo, man. I, I really do. Um, Los Angeles... Los Angeles... Yeah. I love both those places. If I had to choose, if, somebody's, if somebody had a gun to me, I would... And I think all the Colombians... Can we call ourselves that? Yeah, I don't know if we can call ourselves that. I think that's taken. <laughs> would be shocked. I love Colombo. Okay. Um, movies or TV series? TV series. Yeah. Facebook or Instagram? Facebook for information and fake news. <laughs> Acting or singing? Uh, again, I think I think the dream would be both. Honestly, I think uh, acting is. There's nothing more rewarding than taking a great role, but singing is like every song can be a new role. Okay. Texting or calling? I prefer texting, but I love a good chat. Star is born or Bohemian Rhapsody? <sighs> Damn it! What? The two, the two ones we were talking about. Um, I, you can only watch a Star is Born once. Like maybe twice in a lifetime. Like you, I don't think a, a, any human beings have enough tears in their tear ducts to cry for that film. Um, Bohemian Rhapsody ends triumphantly and it ends in such a note that makes you feel like um, it doesn't matter who you are, where you come from, or what creed you are. You can, you can, you know, you can surpass adversity if you have a good team of people that love you around you as well. Yeah. Um, for that reason, I like it a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Sorry, sorry, Bradley. <laughs>